What's up guys, welcome back. As promised, I'm gonna be talking about host family gifts today and I hope I can give you some ideas on what you wanna bring for your future host family. Choosing a host family gift is definitely not easy and I remember when I did it, how much I thought about what I could get them. You don't really know the people so you don't have an idea on what they might like but before you make a choice, make sure you check out the customs website and find out if whatever your idea is, is illegal to bring to America. Because I know, for example, in Germany, we have these little chocolate eggs with a surprise in it and they are actually illegal in America, even though they're everywhere in Germany. Make sure you check out the customs website so you don't do anything illegal. Then, of course, make sure your gift is not too big. Because first of all, you are packing for at least a year and you need the space. And second of all, you don't know if your host family is giving you anything and you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. Be careful if you want to give alcohol to a family because you don't know what their relationship to alcohol is and if they want alcohol in their house or not. So if you're like me from Germany, beer is like the thing everyone thinks about when they're thinking about Germany, but it might not be the best idea because you don't know if they want you to be drinking, especially if you're not 21, then definitely don't do it. But also you don't know what their rules are with alcohol, so I would definitely stay away from alcohol. For my previous host family, I got a calendar with some beautiful pictures of the nicest places in Germany. And I also got them kitchen cut boards where I engraved the map of Germany and also the symbol of my hometown soccer team. And my previous host family really loved their gifts and I think that those are two ideas that are always going to be a good gift. If you can bring something from your country or show them a little bit about your country, I think they're going to love it because they have probably not been to your country yet. And also if you have a talent, then you should definitely make something yourself because I feel like putting in the work and putting in the thoughts is so much better than just buying a gift. And for my future host family, I think that I'm gonna do cutting boards as well and maybe even the calendar as well. But I'm also thinking about a personalized puzzle. There are a lot of websites online where you can personalize cups, plates, anything you can think of uh, basically. And I fell in love with a puzzle idea because that can actually be a good icebreaker, I think. It may not be as easy for the kid to transition from one au pair to the other and having a puzzle with their own faces on and maybe them needing you to help them will make the transition easier for you and give you a better start with your host children. In my next video, I'll definitely show you the results on what I decided I would do. I hope I'll have a gift by then. And if you already decided on what you want to get your host family, maybe just put a comment below and help some of pairs out um, because I know it's not so easy. Other than that, something about your country is always going to be good. If you can make something yourself, it's always going to be good. And if you don't bring something, don't stress about it either because it's not required. I just think that's a nice gesture but you definitely don't have to do it and you don't have to feel bad and like I said you don't know whether your host family has something for you or not so be prepared for that as well don't be disappointed if they don't have anything they probably have a lot on their hands saying goodbye to the former au pair is also emotionally draining but that doesn't mean that they are not excited for you to come and that you won't have a great time i hope i could help you at least a little bit with some gift ideas and some helpful tips and my next video is going to be about packing because that is going to be pretty soon before i'm leaving i'm really nervous and i hope by then i have my host family gifts but i'm pretty sure i'm going to do the puzzle because i love that idea and i'll definitely keep you posted 